Hold on a second. That boo boo boo. He's hold on. You want to take a look into the power points from both the players? What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanders here on Money Machines. In today, we are going to cast a replay for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the page 2.2 on the beautiful map Fort of Eisen between the Green Rohan player Farad and his opponent, the White Connor player Rangel. It's a good against good matchup. May the better good win. <laughs> okay, double farm opening for the Rohan. He's gonna go for the farm number three immediately, which means he won't have the money to do this one. Oh, hold on a second. He never recruited Mary. Okay, interesting. Normally, you, you know, Mary, you need to have him, dude. It's a very important hero. And I believe this Rohan player, Farad, is gonna try to rush for the stable to have the Rohirrim extremely early on the field. But Gondor is going for a counter push. He was expecting something like this because normally in this match we don't want to put pressure as Gondor because usually Rohan is the one who is spamming a lot of peasants and you will have to defend but not this time okay and we also now hear Mary your dog Brainybok look at him he's coming the handsome hobbits from the Shire and Elvin Wood has been placed from Gondor for to have more resistances on the Elvin Wood which means peasants which normally can't fight you anyway in a 2v2 situation cannot fight you at all now even a peasant number three or four is not gonna be enough and you will have to bring your hobby to this location as soon as possible but you can try to repair yeah that's look look at them going boys we need to work 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 <laughs> so at this point the hobbit is gonna do a good job look the repairing of course is not gonna be that effective because there are there are two battalions of soldiers so you need more than one battalion of peasants to defend this but Hobbit is gonna put in some work, we get additional peasants, but during all this time, Gondor's eco is pretty much untouched, which means that's like the best possible start for Gondor. He even got a level 2 soldier, which is not gonna stay alive for a long time, but he will be able to gather so many power points for Gondor. Look at him, he was able to gather more than half a power point before he even built up the stable, which is quite impressive. And look, Hobbit, what is this opening? What is the threat? Full beast with farms. Okay, Gondor going for the stable. For the Gondor Knights. Which means Gondor will be able to creep the whole map. Whole map. And the peasants are celebrating. Hobbit is almost level 2. And this Rohan, will he rush Legolas? I don't know. Let me check his money. He's not that rich, but he's gonna have a lot of money very, very soon because he was able to reclaim this settlement. He's now recruiting additional peasants. I believe he's trying to get the script down with one, two, three peasants and the Hobbit. He should be able to do this. No problem. In the meantime, the Gondor Knights are coming, but because of the Hobbit Peregrine took, the Gondor player was able to see the bees and also the plane of the Green Rohan player Farad. Okay, so he's reading him like a book. Okay. So in the meantime, Rohan is creeping this one. Gondor should go for this creep first, okay? But it's not a big deal. Hobbit was able to get the last hit, level 2. In the meantime, Gondor is creeping offensively. I mean, that's like the dream start for Gondor because he will get enough power points definitely. I mean, maybe not because he was starting with the Elven Wood, which means he needs to collect, first of all, heal and then two power points after heal to get his Gan of the Grey into the Gan of the Whites. Oh! Take this, Gondor Knights. Beautiful. One shot, one opportunity. And we are aiming to get Eoma to level 4. That's the dream for Rohan. But Gondor, of course, you know, you can only spear throw one Rohirrim every 25 seconds. One Gondor Knight every 25 seconds, which means Gondor can still creep. But you can be annoying with the horses, with the heroes. Watch him. And if you don't know, Eoma is faster than normal knights in Rohirrim. So you will be able to catch them. Beautiful, trample, nice, Elven Wood for more resistances. There comes the heal on the Gondor Knights. And Eoma will be able to throw one more spear. But Meriorok Brandybok is under attack. They are bringing the Hobbits to the White Tree. You can't fight this. I mean, Eoma is too tanky. The horse heroes have also higher resistances in the patch 2.2 versus cavalry. So every mounted hero is pretty much like a good counter to horses like Vorks, Rohirrim and Knights. And now we have the uncle, Theodin, and the nephew, Eoma. That's all Rohan has to offer, but surprisingly, he's able to hold the two farms he has. But during all this time, while he's chasing those knights of Gondor, the Gondor player Rangel was able to creep the whole map. He was able to creep this one, this one, you know, this one, 
this one and he's about to get the last creep on the map Forza Horizon which means from all the creeps available in this map Rohan was only able to get one single one of them which is not good <laughs> you know it's not enough so the plan is to put Theodin next to Eoma as you throw the spear to share experience but he's not doing it he's gonna get away with the banner no problem and now he's finally building up the steeple in the armory going for the heavy armor and recruiting normal Rohirrim. So basically, as you can see and tell, you know, the map control is looking phenomenal for Gondor and that won't change anytime soon. The well is kicking in, healing up. The tower is going to be built up. He has even heavy armor, which is quite nice. Gondor has no upgrades yet. I think he was trying to rush Gandalf because he has almost 3k in the bank. And with the map control he has currently, he should be able to do, to do this no problemo. But against Rohirrim with heavy armor and tearing leadership, the Gondor Knights, they can't fight. What you want to do in this situation as Rohan, you want to kill and destroy the well first. So that means the Gondor Knights can't recover and regenerate. And if you don't demolish this, he's going to get a lot of experience. Watch this. Watch this, boys. Watch this, please. Boom! You see the experience he was able to gather. That's what I'm talking about. That's why it's crucial to destroy the well statues, the sentry towers, and you play with the evil factions. That's the most important thing because those structures, if you don't destroy them in time, demolish them in time, your opponent will get so many power points and experience points like you could see in the situation. And it's risky because Theodin is all about to hit level 4, which will unlock the best buff for the horses, the glorious charge for more DPS, more damage, but also the slow declaration, which means you can't slow down. Which, by the way, is not that important in this situation, because you don't fight against infantry yet. But maybe later on, it's gonna be great. But however, the 75% increased armor will make your Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers pretty much invincible. And you can just face tank Gandalf. Gandalf can't blast you. I mean, he can blast you, but he won't kill your horses. And Rohan actually doing a good job recovering the map. But very soon, ladies and gentlemen, very, very soon, we will have Mifrandia, the Grey Pilger, and then he's gonna turn immediately into the Ganaf the White. Now, it's debatable if Gondor needed to do this, you know, because every time you make a choice, it has ups and downs, you know? The, the good thing is you have early Ganaf, but the bad thing is you are losing map control, which you didn't have to when you would go for upgrades instead. Ganaf the Grey turning into the Ganaf the White. And there comes the white rider against the Rohan horses and heroes. Eoma level 4. Oh, oh. Nice catch with the lightning sword. And he killed a whole battalion. That's Auchi, by the way. Auchi, because the Rohirrim, they cost 450. And heavy armor cost 250. And blades cost 300. So basically, you are losing over a thousand resources. Just like that. Theoden is level 3.5 almost. And what is the plan for Gondor? He needs to first of all get upgrades, right? He needs to get Forge Blades, Heavy Armor, and Shields too. Because the Shields, as you can see, will make you also tankier versus enemy cavalry. Which means you will be able to win the skirmishes against the Rohirrim way easier. Heal. Spear throw. No? No, okay. And with the help of Gandalf... Gondor is able to reclaim map control and Ganaf is so annoying to deal with because as long as you have not enough Rohirrim archers beautiful blast by the way nice uh oh be careful and the, the player who is host by the way is also Rohan so basically Gondor player is playing this off host which is pretty nice the host advantage in BFMU1 is kind of massive especially in this matchup between good and old good the host advantage gives the player who is hosting the game a huge advantage when it comes to micro units and this when you play Gondor and Rohan, is even more important than with Isengard and or Mordor. Level 2 archer range, he will go for the fire arrows very soon, and then he will start recruiting more and more Rohir matches, but the eco from Rohan is not looking that great, as expected. You can also sell the Yeoman archers like he does, you can send them inside the Citadel, and you will get money for that. But not that much, but it's better. Earlier you couldn't do this in the earlier patches, now you can do this, so basically... When you have a unit you need to recruit to get a building to level 2 or level 3, you can just sell them now, which is a big quality of life change, by the way. And look at this, it is like the worst case scenario. Gandalf is like, come at me, bro, come at me, bro, you know. He's waiting in front of the gate and kind of challenging the Rohirrim in the Riddermark faction to a 1v5 situation. <laughs> okay, 
it's gonna change formation when you get e studied like this you want to change formation because then it will only hit maximum two units but if you don't change formation he did it afterwards you need to do this early game early on then you know when you don't change it he will kill three when you change it he will maximum kill two double outpost for gondor almost 100 percent map control market please coming in to you know basically gondor will be Eden mask of middle earth okay all right so elvin woods available for rohan to be able to cover the elvin wood from gondor gondor was able to get two power points lightning sword will be used but he will only hit the gates look at the gate it's getting chung 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 there comes the uh, seeds Ooh, beautiful blast there comes the spear throw from Eoma. he's already level four but theodine is getting closer and closer and trust me if there is any win condition right now for rohan it has to be theodine hitting level four and unlocking the glorious charge that's legit the only potential way i can see rohan turning this game around because gondor is now taking over okay and mifrandia doesn't have to fear anything it's not the best with plus <laughs> actually but it's okay rohan should be able to cover this land he's he did already cover this land which means now they have even greater amount of leadership theodine needs only one more hit one more kill on any single unit to get level four and you can see the Rohirrim are shining bright like a diamond. The only problem for Rohan is the lack of money. Oh, nice. Peregrine took dice and gives Theodine the desired, the wanted. Hold on a second. There comes the glorious shard. And now they can face tank anything they want. Ganoff is using the shield bubble to run for its life. Oh and imagine Not if the Rohirrim archers would actually have fire arrows. It would be a whole different situation. Rohan has to still get map control. Gondor is gonna be extremely rich. Rich. He's gonna go for a workshop for a trebuchet and also recruit tower guards. But you know what I like to do myself? When I find myself in the situation in which I will have to deal with plenty of Rohirrim archers, I like to make combos. So basically, archer range barracks make combos and recruit Faramir and Boromir and give them the chance, especially to Faramir, to show his quality. Because Rohirrim arches are actually very weak against fire arrows. So. Okay. So, boys, we got ourselves a game now. Rohan has Glorious Charge, which is like, like a long cooldown. 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And Eoma leadership is even more important. Because it's it's constantly 70% more damage. Which, by the way, is able to stack. But you don't want to give them... Oh! Nice dodge from Rohan. But you see, in those situations, the host advantage is coming in clutch, you know? Those reaction times when you play host, it's just like you play against PV against AI. But look at the chunking, 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 Elvin! Okay, he has no smite. Elvin's smite, if you don't know, is actually dealing bonus damage to heroes too. But it already says in the description, 20% bonus damage to all non-flying heroes. So basically, it's a hero counter. And Elvin is definitely a good hero, but people don't realize that. She's... One of the cheapest heroes in the game actually she only costs 1100 and her smite will chunk any hero it hits and if you don't know i mean it's also in the description if theodin dies next to eowyn she will get mad and she will be able to use the spear throw one more time so you can get in some situations two spear throws in one single fight okay fire rose purchase rohan is claiming the map control but gondor has to kind of do something about that so, because in this situation, Rohan has to be clumped. He needs to be with his heroes and Rohirrim archers in one location, and you don't have to do that. So, you can split up your knights a little bit and focus on the map control. Ganaf is level 6. We need still 4 more levels for the War of Power. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. And Rohan is now committing to the top side. And also, Legolas could be a nice hero. But most, more important than Legolas would be Aragorn, because Aragorn also provides you leadership. And also, Aragorn is quite tanky hero with the Andri Sword, which means later on, when you have to deal with Tower Guards, you can pretty much send in Aragorn to kill all those Trebuchet. He's gonna make some archers. He's now level 2. He might sell them, because he would potentially want to make some rangers instead. Okay, Rohan is taking over the outpost, no problemo. For the Rohirrim archers, they are so strong at this point. And Rohan can even recruit more of them, if he wants to. But again, they cost 750 each, right? And for each of them, you need to invest 400 for the fire arrows, 250 for the heavy armor. So basically, they will cost you 
almost 1500 resources for every single one of them that's why it's crucial to keep your units alive throughout the entire game because on the rookie marches the level advantage is also very important for that reason getting killed into level 5 would be even better because that will unlock his king's favor which means you can use it repeatedly right you can use it over and over again oh this is gonna be a big fight glorious shards heal heal he needs to heal elvin smite him elvin Okay, never mind. He used everything though. And he killed legit nothing. Spetro is coming in clutch. I think Eowyn wasn't able to... Uh, Eowyn actually used it, but Eowyn didn't. I mean, he wouldn't die anyway. But you can see, now the heal is on cooldown. It means Gandalf has to be extremely careful. One miscommitment and you will lose your wizard. Which, by the way, will give Gon Rohan so much space and so much time for the punishment. And also, he will get lots of levels from that. He will get power points from it in which he might be even getting close to the end special summon and all of a sudden the game can be ending in like two minutes so your Gandalf is the only thing that is good for Gondor at this point without Gandalf even your combos will be weak because your heroes like Faramir and Boromir they're only level three so they need to be at least level four or five to provide leadership so basically now <laughs> Rohan can run you down but we need Aragorn Aragorn, 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 Aratuan's son. Did I say Aratuan? Antoine. <laughs> Aratons. Okay. It's demolishing the buildings in time. Again, those small things, they snowball later on extremely hard. You not demolishing 10, your, 10 of your farms will give him two power points. And this, you know, kind of snowballing game, right? All about the power points later on. Talking about the power points, Gondor has almost four. And it looks like you want to go for them, Cloud Break, which is, by the way, good. In this in this matchup, Eagles won't be that good. They are not horrible, but they can't do much because they will get one-shotted from the Rohirrim Arches. So maybe Cloud Break would be a better choice because then you can slow down the enemy movement speed and it gives you the chase and catch potential. Okay, so, I mean, the Cloud Break doesn't stun them and Theoden is nearby. Theoden gives them also fear resistant, by the way, look at this. The fourth Eorlingas nearby cavalry will become immune to fear. But Rohan has literally 80% of the map, and Gondor is camping at this point. Beautiful catapult shot. Did I already mention that Rohir matches are very really weak against fire arrows, and it also includes fire stone. Okay, so... Dude, this fight is gonna be dangerous because I don't like this combo at all. The thing about this combo between tower guards and rangers is the tower guards in the front they have not the porcupine revenge damage. So when you get when they get trampled, they will actually get knocked down on the ground. So it's better to have them separated. Like in this situation, for example, in which you can use the full potential of the porcupine formation to be immune to trample and also deal massive bonus damage to the trample. Okay, boys. So that's gonna be the hour of truth. Oh, I mean, this is a scary army too, right? And Gondor is taking care of the map a little bit at the same time. That's very important. Uh, that's a bad fight to take for Rohan. He's fighting on the enemy Elven Wood. You don't want to fight this. But I think he's focused around this situation. Bad trample. Porcupine formation. He's sacrificing one of his Rohirrim. He want to kill as many, destroy as many Trebuchim as he potentially can. He's going to use heal. He's trying to dance around the Rosie. Three Trebuchim are gone. The number four is gone. That's absolutely fine. Losing one... I mean, it's all about the math, okay? So you lose one Rohirrim, okay? But you destroy four Trebuchim. That's so good. Because they cost 720 plus 350 for this. They cost 1,000. So by losing four Trebuchim with Firestone, the Gondor player just lost 4,000. The only problem is Gondor has more money than you. So going even in trades is not going to benefit you. But you can see destroying Trebuchim is also rewarding because you actually get lots of power points from that, okay? Okay, in the meantime, Gondor took the map, and that's the advantage of the multitasking. Map control is everything, and it's even more important so for Rohan, because Rohan is the one faction with only seven available spots, and one of them is being invested into the stable, level three, and one of them into the well, so he has only five farms from which he's getting money from, and Gondor has nine spots, okay? He's even going for the stone worker, why not? He has marketplace, he has increase money from the blacksmiths and farms you can see the glow animation he's making from a level 2 farm for example 26 and rohan is only making 20 so six extra resources that means marketplace the longer the game goes on the better it is going to be it's more rewarding okay four power points in the bank 
And Gondor is getting close. Very close, actually, for the Klauprig. And Klauprig is very good because it makes them lose armor and movement speed too, which means not only your Gondorites will be able to chase and catch them, but also your trebuchet are gonna most likely land a couple of shots as they are moving way slower. And Gondor is about to siege boys, okay? That's gonna be a big, big fight. We wanna keep an eye on Boromir and Faramir. Those two brothers, those two captains of Gondor, they're gonna be very important later on. If Faramir gets level 5 and Boromir gets level 4, Gondor will unlock its full potential with leadership, and those units, rangers, tower guards, everything is gonna hit like a truck. Boom, 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 it's raining fire! It's raining fire! What can men do against such a reckless heat? He's gonna be able to destroy one of them, catching them off guard. Don't lose the battalion though, they have even the horsemen shields, they are very tanky, even buying banner on them. And that's why Aragorn is so important, because trust me on that one, you can send Aragorn solo with your heal, the Anduril Sword, the Blade Master, and your Atelas. Aragorn is so tanky. He's using the Bombard ability, by the way. There comes the Glorious Charge, boys. The moment we have been waiting for is here. Boom, 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 boom. He's diving and he doesn't care. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Theodin is running for his life. I think Eowyn got one-shotted, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm losing my voice. There was a bad trample. There are too many tower guards. You can't ignore them. They have forge blades too. Porcupine formation. Boromir almost level 4. And now you need to still deal with those two trebuchet, yeah? I mean, you have to. Spietro, almost one shot, but not... Okay. Few more shots. Do it. Now run, 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 run. Oh, but lose. He's losing everything. The best without blast in the world. <laughs> Cloud break unlocked. And Gondor is only 8 power points away from getting food EOD. And for the next massive fight, he will have also the Cloud break advantage. Gondor doesn't finish this outpost for whatever reason. He's gonna take down the farm instead. And now all they need all he needs to do is bring more trebuchet to this location. Look at the wall. The Numenorian Stormwork, ladies and gentlemen. The Numenorian Stormwork. Okay, so what is the power points from Rohan? Hey, you know what you can do? Trust me, guys, listen to me. And you have eagles, uh, not eagles, ants. You can use them on top of the enemy combos. Oh, he's chunking Boromir. Boromir is fast, though. I don't know if you can catch him. I mean, of course, horses are faster. Oh, there comes the cloud break. Look at the movement speed they are moving. Son, what a beautiful wizard blast from the young wizard. Gandalf is popping off. But Gondor Knights, level 7 Gondor Knights level 8. No, 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 no. Spear throw. Oh my goodness, don't let him live, Elma. Yeah, he's gonna go down. Does he have heal, Gondor? Nah, he doesn't. And rest in peace, level 8 Gondor Knights. Okay, but at least Boromir was able to survive. That's good from Rangel. He doesn't die this time, like he dies in the films always. But that's not the film, that's a video game. Three power points in the bank. Gondor is retreating for now. Tactical retreat, you wanna say that? And Rohan has now the end special summon. The protectors of the Fangorn forest are coming to eat Rohan against Gondor. Trebuchet. One, two, three, four, five trebuchet. They cost also lots of command points, by the way. They cost 10 command points, right? So. I mean, actually not that much. 10 is not... But they used to only cost 5 in the past, so now they cost double the command points. Okay. Oh, they are, they are even level 2. That's crazy. Actually crazy. But Rohan is about to lose this area. I mean, Gondor has money, right? It's not a big problem for Gondor. Everything is level 3 now at this point. But Rohan is not that rich, right? Rohan is... But he's aiming for it. He's trying to get now enough money for Aragorn. He's, he knows. Aragorn, I need him. Not, I mean, even if you can't send him solo in, the, alone the fact that he will give you 50% more damage for the nearby units is worth every single penny, okay? Then your Rohirrim Arches will deal in total 150% more damage, which is crazy when you think about this. So one Rohirrim is going to be stronger than two Rohirrim with the amount of leadership he will receive from the heroes. But he has no Andri Sword. Uh oh now he can't show up. I mean, he can't go in. 
you need to think about Aragorn like this. Aragorn without Anduril Sword is pretty much like Gandalf without Gandalf the White. He will restore hope for Rohan. Oof. Boom, 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 boom. Chakalaka. One, two, three, four, five, six catapults. Six trebuchet. What can men do against such a reckless seat? And they are being protected by the by the combos. Boom! Glorious charge! Go, go, Aragorn! Look how slow he is! Okay, ends. Nice. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We want to take a look into the power points from both the players. Rohan is getting rich. There comes a trample. He's getting chunk chunk. Elma deal. Okay, Gandalf, 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 Gandalf was trying to flank. Ends in the meantime are. Look, Rohan is stomping this fight, and Wizard has been slain too. Dead. While Rohan's army in the lead game is so crazily strong. He was able to gather so many power points. Look, he has seven power points, and he even went for the Anduri sword. If he wouldn't do this, he would have eight and a half, almost an AOD. And also Gondor has seven power points. Holy guacamole, that's crazy, boys. I mean, the only good thing for Gondor is his rich, right? He can revive all his heroes at the same time. He has still 3,000 in the bank, but he needs to make more combos. He, he demolished the barracks, which is a mistake in my opinion, because now he can't recruit any more tower guards anytime soon. Which also means that Rohirrim with Glorious Charge can just run you down. Look at the Nomonorian Stormwork. It's, it's making the walls so tanky. The ends, they have no more time left in Middle-earth. They are going to be gone now. And Rohan will have to build the end mood if he wants to make something happen. Cloudbreak is available. Oh, um, at this point, uh, it's all about getting to AOD. Because I'm assuming the only way Gondor can kill this Rohirrim army with Glorious Charge is with AOD. Uh oh, Aragorn, fishing power points, look at this, boom. Yeah, and nowadays, this trebuchet, the catapults, they are feeding lots of power points. Look at the Rogondor Knights. What can they do? Here in this level 5, he can use the King's Fever, he should be using it. And Rohan in the meantime taking over the map, so basically Gondor has now only two farms left. One, and two. But, he has a whole base, no, actually not. He has three production buildings, he's gonna demolish this. And he has a well, that means he has only one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna build another blacksmith. He's, he knows, okay? I will be, I will get poor. And indeed, look his money. He's dropping down to below 2,000 pretty much for the first time since 10 to 15 minutes. And that's the proof I'm saying always. Map control is not important at any stage of the game. They're more, than, more important than any other stage. So it's important throughout the entire game, from early to late. Till the game ends. Ooh, beautiful shot, though. I mean, it's a camping situation. <laughs> Look at this. Stoneworker, laser towers, Numenorian, you know, stonework. And trebuchet around the wall. <laughs> That's the OG Gondor playstyle. I used to play like this also in the past, but nowadays I can't be arsed to do this. I like to play aggressive. But I can understand, because he never went for early Elma, I mean, Boromir and Faramir. Without the leadership he needs, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, uh, actually, Boromir, okay. It's a whole different so you know, story, by the way. Now he needs to make, he should be making combos now. Because trust me, with Boromir leadership, the 60% more damage, it's gonna be a different situation. Okay, level seven Aragorn. You like to see it. Look at the map, boys. That the only one farm remaining for Gondor. Aragorn using uh, Aragorn. Guys, Aragorn, why? Why would you use this? That's a waste, in my opinion. It's gonna go big gate rush now, now. I mean, that's like a waste of glorious charge if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Look at this. Three towers for Rohan. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. And, I mean, Rohan is closer to EOD than Gondor, but not by a lot. So basically, I think at some point of the game, they will both gain and get EOD. That's gonna happen. So it's all about destroying the buildings in time to be the first one who's gonna get it. But he's not demolishing it, so that means Gondor is gonna get more power points. Look at this. Pew! You see? And this snowballs later on extremely hard. So Gondor is just running because he knows he can't fight this. There is no world in which Gandalf will survive this Rohirrim Archer with level 10. Level 10 Rohirrim Archer will hit you like a truck. 
I mean, when you have heal me, you can try, but it's gonna be too risky. I mean, I wouldn't try it, I think. <laughs> it's just too risky. I Maybe I would try it. I would like, oh, damn it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna use... Uh, here's the bubble, and here's the heal. And when you combine this with Cloud Break, maybe you can do something. But it's risky. You need to be extremely fast with the heal. Okay, we will find out very soon, though. Look, one, two, three trebuchet around the wall. So he's preparing himself for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is, of course, Rohan breaking in and going inside the castle. When this happens, those trebuchet will be crazy strong to defend. They will shoot like pew, 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 pew. And that's going to fish you power points. Now we have to taken a look into the power points from Rohan. And now we're going to be focusing on the power points from Gondor, okay? Gondor is almost nine. So he needs a power point in less than a half to get his EOD unlocked. And then you just summon EOD on top of the enemy Rohirrim army and that's it. They will just die in a second. Okay, so look at them. Look, they get they die like nothing. Okay, so he's trying to body block, right? He's trying, he knows, okay, my opponent will try to destroy my trebuchet. So I need to body block. There comes Glorious Charge. Don't try to disengage. Yeah, you are too slow. Okay, we need, we need to take a look into the power points from, from Gondor. Oh, nice stun, by the way. They are not level 3, that comes Cloud Break. That's a massive fight. Boom, 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 Chakalaka. Look at them die, look at them go. And there comes the EOD. Oof, 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 oof. Aragorn can fight this. If you don't know, Aragorn is one of the few heroes that can actually fight EOD back for a bit. But you need to stand still and fight. Look, he's melting them. And when you have heal, 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 heal. He's not gonna heal him. Oh, he's lucky though that Ganoth didn't get the last hit. Because that would bring him to level 9. And that would be a closer thing. But also Rohan has AOD. Okay. But Rohan has lost pretty much every single unit he had. Every single unit. Including Theodin and Aragorn. Only Emma was able to survive this uh, big fight against the EOD, and most importantly, yeah, I mean, he has money to re recruit more units, but the problem is, he lost all the higher leveled units, right, he lost every, every level 5, level 6, level 7 unit, level 10 unit, and you can't replace them, now, all your units will be max level 2, maybe level 3 when you level them up with the King's Fable, and also, Theodin was level 5, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the revive time for a level 5 hero is 2 minutes, 2 minutes is a long time, because EOD, it's a reload time of 8 minutes and 30 seconds, while its duration is 40 seconds. So basically, EOD starts going on cooldown the second you use it, but as, as the last 40 seconds, you actually have 7 minutes and 50 seconds duration, I mean cooldown, after the duration is over. And from then you pretty much have to invest 2 minutes to get your hero back. Which means your enemy, your <laughs> opponent, has already a, less than a quarter available from his EOD for the second time. It's all about working with the cooldowns, right? So basically now you need to know, I need to be fast. He has EOD, and every minute you waste, he will get closer to use it for the second time. So now you need to build an army, use your EOD in a good way, and go ham. If you don't know, the EOD can destroy the gate. That's possible. Even though the skill is going to be kind of tough and tanky with the upgrade it has. Look at this beautiful you know git but yeah that's a bad that's a bad glorious charge you don't want to do this by the way now you kind of took another l for no reason because now you need to wait two minutes and 30 seconds for your glorious charge to be back up you know again all of that is helping gondor and it's going to get closer to the eagles which is going to be very nice because the second you go inside the castle every tower is going to start it shoot shooting at you so what you want to do in this situation when you play Rohan is you want to use EOD. You want to come here with all your army and try to beat them against to fight you. Then you use EOD to kill the army first. Then you kill the gate, destroy the gate and destroy the trebuchet. Then you go ham and just focus this one, this one and this one first. Okay? He's going to use the rangers but Rohan is going to get away, no problem. But you see, EOD is halfway there already. And Rohan is just wasting too much time. Trying to chase. But he has no catch potential. Chasing without being able to catch is a big mistake. You can't catch them. They are as fast as you are. Unless you are using 
Cloud Break, that is 0% chance you can catch up to them. In most cases, it's about, you know, forcing your opponent to make a choice, right? It's all about putting them in a, in a point in which he has to react. But in this case, he can just run away and he, he's, he's losing nothing out of this. But when you threaten his castle, he has to react to that, right? I mean, Rohan is kind of poor still. He has not enough money. We need 5,000 for the end moods, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And Gondor is, has like, what? How many trebuchet? A lot. Of, oh, oh my, 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 Run, you fool. Gandalf. Okay. Faramir is going to die. Faramir. Gandalf, 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 Gandalf. Okay. Now go ham. Ooh. He's going to make a post on gate. He's going to get away with two battalions. Now. We also hear the ants crying. He destroyed all the trebuchet. There is only one more left. He's going ham, boys. Okay? He's going ham. Oh, Eoma is tanking all the arrows. He has no heal. He's gonna die. Eoma is gonna die. There is no way he can survive this. And the problem here, by the way, for Rohan is he has only Rohirrim arches, not normal Rohirrim. That's a big mistake. You want to always have a mix because your Rohirrim arches, even though they are dealing great amount of damage to the buildings, but your normal Rohirrim would still, a de still deal a much greater damage. You want to destroy this thing here, because with level 3, it's going to be able to shoot at you. But also, it has like 50% less build time. And you can see the towers, they are so annoying to play against. Aragorn dies, everything dies. Gandalf is level 9, and Gondor is just fine. Gondor is just fine. Even his hero Boromir was able to survive this. Level 6 unlocked, by the way. And now, the eagles, they can keep moving. They can keep moving, they have still time left. They are incredibly fast. And you can even gather more power points. Yeah, eagles can kill those Rohir marches, but yeah, they are gonna go for it. The wizard plus missed. And guys, you need to understand in the late, 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 late game, Gondor is the best summons in the game, okay? So when we are talking in this matchup, in which every single power point has been unlocked from every player, Gondor has the better summons. In 9 out of 10 situations the eagle summon is better than the ants okay then you have the rangers they are similar and equal to the elven alliance special summon but on top of that you have also the rohirrim summon it's an additional summon which rohan doesn't have right okay but it's not over yet i mean i want to get kind of level 10 though if he can, if he can, EOD is gonna be available very soon. Gondor is kind of poor, but again, you don't need to make an army. You have an additional army. Use the Horn of Gondor. He doesn't use it. You could have killed them there, by the way. They are not immune to the. Oh, oh nice catch! He will be able to catch them. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, not bad. And again, Rohan has to revive his heroes like Eoma, Theodin, and Aragorn. That's gonna cost you lots of money. And Rohan is once again poor. He's poor. He's broke. But the good thing is he has map control. That's very good. And that's the advantage of having map. Because then if something goes wrong, you have enough sustain in your eco to actually get everything you lost back. He won't die to this. He's gonna use the shield bubble and get away. And now it's gonna become even less uh, relevant. Because everything is level 2 or level 1. And Ganov is not gonna be getting one-shotted. Because each level you gain with your heroes also makes you more tanky. You get more HP. Which means the Rohirrim Arches, they will have to hit you multiple times. So I think the best thing what Gondor can do and should be doing is try to force a big fight with your trebuchet. Try to threaten to destroy his gate. And when he comes to defend himself, then use EOD and win the game. Again, the guys, you need to understand. There is one thing you, you, every player, every even good player needs to know this. You want to summon something to get the best out of it, right? Especially when it comes to the key summons like Balrog and EOD. You don't want to use it randomly to kill army. But you want to think a step ahead. You want to think, okay, what can I do after I kill the army? You want to go for the game-winning move. So if you kill the army, but that's it, it will help you for a bit. But then you will struggle because your opponent will have EOD later on. So you want to force him into a situation in which you can use EOD to not kill his army exclusively but also to destroy his gate so you can go in then and finish so you want to be in the sieging position pretty much uh oh he's looking for it he's looking for it he's gonna cancel it 
trample using swords to become immune. Oh, cloud prick. Aragorn can fight you, by the way. Oh, nice. Aragorn is chilling. Aragorn can chunk you. Boom. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch my measure of X. <laughs> okay. Yes, the Atelas. All right. I mean, Rohan has the. I mean, now they are kind of becoming lazy. Boromir, you have no chance. Oh, you want to leave it to Aragorn? No, no. Get, get it to the Rohira Marches. Yeah. Look, they get level five. That's going to be important. Oh, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. He's going to cancel it. Cancel it. Yeah. I mean, the Rohirrim, they need to be with the Rohirrim heroes. Like, Eoma and Theodin, they need to be supporting them. Because then they will be, you know, they will become much stronger. And at this point of the game, it's not very good to send Aragorn solo. Because there is a highly leveled Gandalf. And also, Eagles will be back up very soon. So, Eagles are one of the best counters to heroes. They actually deal massive damage to every hero, including Aragorn and Gandalf. And Gondor has a lot of money. Rohan, not that much. Also not weak uh, late game you get more money from the level three farms of course so you should be able to be just good to go okay okay i mean level six theory oh but there he's running it down don't 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 look at the chunks come to my aid rohirim rohirim uh, grohan has also cloud break which he should be using from time, time to time to get actually more presents <clears throat> okay, boys, so this is gonna be a long game, I guess. Because now Gondor waited, which means he didn't use that advantage he had with the EOT. And they will have it available both at the same time. But Gondor doesn't look to siege, which means he needs he wants to win one more big fight before sieging, I guess. I mean you don't need trebuchet to siege, because again your EOT is able to break through the gate. And Rohan's defense is not as strong as Gondor's defense. And Gondor doesn't care about Git. He's just Git rushing at this point. Nah, he's not. I think he was not paying attention. Would be a shame, you know, to end the fight like this. Oh, heal. Nice. And there is no Eoma. Without Eoma, your units are not dealing that much damage. Did he lose Eoma? No. Eoma is actually at the bottom side. Now look, he's just fishing power points at this, experience points at this point. And very soon... Oh, but that's gonna be big, by the way. Okay? So listen to me. When you use War of Power, you can one-shot EOD. One-shot it. So basically now, yeah, Rohan is EOD, but uh, Ganav is level 10. Okay? And War of Power is able to one-shot. One-shot it. Oh, oh, that's big. That's actually very big. Holy moly. What a disaster. That's not the best... <laughs> You know, Glorious Charge, he only hit a few of them. Aragorn is level 8. And the same impact would Aragorn level 10 have, okay? Because Aragorn level 10, which means you can just go here, use AOD, send them inside, they are immune to damage, they don't die to towers. And then you can just destroy every trebuchet. Oh, boy. Ganaf was a bit far away. Boom. Almost one shot the whole AOD. Just like that. I mean, not bad. I think it's okay for Grohan. Low key. It's fine. Because he killed all the army, right? And he also beat it. Now, at this point, it's debatable if Gondor should be using War of Power or not. Because War of Power is 4 minutes 30 seconds cooldown. Oh, the counter EOD. <laughs> Aragorn. Look, Aragorn going ham. Boom. 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 Look, Aragorn is killing everything. Holy. He's gonna heal him. But he's gonna die, right? There is no way he can survive this. There are just too many of them. But still, he, you can't run away. EOD is outrunning every unit in the game. You can't. You are wounded, yeah? You are dead. Elendil <laughs> is gonna be his last one. You need to scream Isildur! Because they, they are the off-breakers from Isildur, not Elendil. They don't know Elendil, man. They only know, know Isildur. I know. Elendil is the father, the daddy. Of his Isildur, I know that. But the Oathbreakers, they actually got curse from Isildur, not Elendil. Okay. <laughs> the last march of the ends begins. He's gonna use Lightning Sword, maybe? Use Lightning Sword. You can... Lightning Sword also deals fire damage. 
which means it will burn the ants, okay? Oh, he's just trying to destroy the trebuchet. He's trying to... Oh, I hear the heroes crying. Theoden King got killed. And the power of the Gondor summons in the lead game, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very powerful summons. There comes the lightning swords. The ends of the Fangorn forest are no more. They have no chance against the wizard. Wizard must be. He be called Tribute and assemble the whole, you know, Fangorn forest. I hear Elma crying. Elma. Oh man, look, he can't even revive his Elma. He's poor. He has 300. <laughs> it's not good. And you need Elma. That was a Gidrash, by the way, with the Rohirrim summon. <laughs> and Trebuchet are still remaining, so just bring them in and, you know, break the Git. And Rohan is still map control, by the way. That's, he has a level 5 Rohirrim here. Does Gondor have Cloud Break? Nope, it's on cooldown. And you can't win against Rohirrim. They will be able to win this fight. Gondor is not paying attention. And minus one night. But again, the longer the game goes on, the less attention you are paying because there are just too many things you need to pay attention to so the mistakes will happen in the lead game most of the mistakes is opening the gates it's pointless to destroy the uh, tower i mean the tower is not very really strong from rohan look how many shots it needs to kill a one one single night look at this like 15 shots or so oh no yeah it's Hmm. Oh wow. I mean not very good coordinated. Yama has to get revived, yeah. I mean the good thing for Rohan is he has money. Even though this outpost is not making any money only from the citadel. But still he has good map control. Double outpost, you know, double citadel here. And also plenty of farms. All of the farms inside the base, besides this one, are level 3. He never went for Legolas, which is a mistake. Legolas is very good against Kenav. And also Gimli. Gimli can one-shot Trebuchet with the extra. So the, the thing is, the thing is, boom, they don't die though. They don't die because they have the glorious charge. Run now, run, 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 run. He's gonna, oh, don't catch. He caught, caught him. Will he die? Yeah. Lightning Sword, one of the best and the strongest single targets in the game. Outpost destroyed, Aragorn. Will get chunked, but he doesn't die. Aragorn is too tanky. Look, he's gonna kill all these knights, by the way. All of them. <laughs> the hero party. Uh, Gandalf, you don't want to do this. Gandalf, you don't want to do this. Gandalf, you don't want to do this. Grand Gandalf. That's not a normal sword, man. That's legit the king of Gondor, man. You can't face tank him. That's not possible. I mean, dude, I'm telling you, this game is looking rough for Rohan, but if there is a chance in which he can kill Gandalf and get Aragorn to level 10, this game, call me crazy, can still turn around. Oh, 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 holy! <laughs> okay, I mean, now we see multiple Alvin Woods, you see that? One, two, uh, three, four, <laughs> you know, Alvin Woods everywhere. Rohirrim Arch is not the best fighters in the melee range, and they are not a very good 1v1 fighter. You want to have a lot of them for the for the burst, okay? So their goal is to kill the targets before they can reach out to them. Before the targets can, can come to you, you kill them. Okay, I mean, that's going to be the third rotation. So I don't know, I don't know how long this video is going to go for, but we are not done yet. I think we're going to see at least one more AOZ before the end of this game, but I'm... Oh, beautiful. Cloud breaks slow, you see? Now you are able to catch up to them. You are running them down at this, at this point. Just fight them, dude. Oh, he, he hit him. Okay, never mind. Randy, look, he lost everything. You see the power of Cloud Break? You see it? Look, he doesn't want to fight him. He's like, I'm, 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 I can't fight you, Aragorn. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight him. He's just running. That is the thing. That's the thing, right? You don't want to fight against Aragorn if he has Blade Master. So, the duration is only 25 seconds. There is no reason to attack him with anything like Easter Light or Lightning Sword as long as this is active. It has 2 minutes and 30 seconds cooldown. So, basically, you need to work around the cooldowns. It's because the Andrew Sword will give him also 35% armor. This one gives him 50. 
and this is stacking so basically he has like 80 percent increase out of 85 so he's like taking almost no damage there oh at the outpost <laughs> okay this ant is looking for a fly hello hello ant what are you what is he doing guys what is he doing what is he doing <laughs> get off me orcs come <laughs> okay i mean he was hitting something the air though you don't want to fight 2v1 okay it's rough it's rough aragorn was able to survive that's it's rough game rough game aragorn almost level 9 look boom almost level 9 and again we are looking for aragorn level 10 but i don't think it's gonna happen it's easier uh you know honestly it's easier to level up again after level 10 than aragorn because Ganef is mobile and has range abilities and he's fast aragorn is also fast for an infantry hero but he can't catch up with the horses but in my opinion also i think aragorn's war of power i mean the off breakers is in some situations better than the hold on did you really do this did you really do this kind of oh, you have heal okay look the, the thing about ganaf is you need to stand still for a bit if you are using your war of power that means in the meantime aragorn will be able to hit you a few times and he didn't even use blade master imagine if he did you would almost be dead eagles killing the king of rohan or they should be just killing eoma and in the late game it's it's frustrating right because if you can't achieve too much against gondor the rotations will be endless so the summons of eagles rangers you know cloud break rohirrim aod they will, will come every few minutes and we even nerf the cooldowns from every single summon multiple times but you can see in the late game it's still frustrating okay <clears throat> uh, sorry i'm losing my voice by the way here guys sorry for this okay i mean no rohirrim arches man just kill you uh, okay never mind they're gone Okay, I think Theoden needs to be revived one more time. Two minutes revive time. Gondor is taking over the map, but doesn't even bother sieging, nor bothers to kill Aragorn. Aragorn is like a free food at this point. I think if you use all your knights with Ganov and his Easter Light plus the Lightning Sword, you can kill him. Rohan is potentially healed. No, he doesn't even have heal. You 100% can kill him. There is no chance he can survive this. But oh, but he has AOD. Okay, now I know what he's doing, to, uh, what he's trying to do. One, two, three, four, five, six Knights of Gondor. Rohirrim summon. They are gonna be gone very soon. But the plan is here to use EOD to break the gates and go in and finish. That's the plan. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. And he's just gonna gate rush. I mean, he would destroy the gate anyway with the with the EOD, as you can see. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you don't, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.